All right, so we've got the car lowered down over the top of our table here. Now all we gotta do is remove the six mounting bolts on each side of the battery, or sorry, rather three on each side of the battery, six total. So we'll pull all those out and then the battery will be freed. Alrighty, and there it is in all its glory. The battery pack removed from the car. It's always kind of weird to look at them from the bottom when there's no battery and it. it looks like there's so much space. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get this out from underneath the car here and then we'll start opening it up to inspect the, the modules and make sure that the cell we think is bad is indeed actually bad. All right, so we're gonna start pulling this apart. First thing we gotta do is take this piece off in the, on the top here. It's got a bunch of little security torx bits. And then, uh, well, what I'll probably do first is clean up the lid here because there's a lot of dust on it. We wanna try and keep any ingress of that sort of thing out of the battery. So we'll clean that up and then we'll start pulling bolts out. And uh, on these batteries, it's pretty easy to get them apart. It just has a rubber gasket under the lid, so there's no silicone or glue or anything we have to fight with doing that. So we'll get to it. All right, got my dirty old rag here. We'll just wipe off all this loose dust so it's not going to get into the battery. Don't have to be perfect, just as long as we're trying to keep things relatively clean and All right, we're gonna pull the central plate off here. These have got a security Torx. I believe they're T30, if I remember right. They're on there pretty tight. All right, we got that plate off of there. There was a little bit of drama. Uh, unfortunately, the, for whatever reason, the camera quit filming right in the middle of that, but. We got it off, now we're gonna pull off all the rest of the bolts around the perimeter. So these are all uh, 10 millimeter, and then there's, uh, there's I believe four uh, 13 millimeter bolts. We're gonna pull all that stuff off here real quick. Do the 13 first. I got Eddie here to give me a hand, pull the lid off the battery here. Uh, all right, I want to grab that end. All right. All right, Eddie's going back to work on his uh, RAV4 he's working on over there. But there we go, we got the battery opened up, and now we can uh, start looking at what's going on here. All right, so I've got kind of got some stuff unclipped here, as you can see. I uh, did some stuff off camera. You can see this, uh, this cable normally lives down here. I unclipped it and pushed it up out of the way. So our, our cell that we're looking for is in this module right here. So this is the last module in the chain of all of the the 48 modules here. Each module, of course, is two cells in series. So uh, this module contains cell 96 and cell 95. Uh, so the next module down the chain is this one. So this is module 47, and this one contains cell 94 and cell 93. So from our leaf spy data, uh, we know that cell 93 is the one that the BMS is reporting there's an issue with. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our handy multimeter here. I'll see if I can set this up where you guys can see it. 
since I've already seen the data here. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure cell 93 as well as its neighbor, cell 94. So we're going to measure right in here where cell terminations are. And this is cell 93. As you can see there, we've only got 3.09 volts. All the rest of the cells in this pack are at just a little over 4 volts, so that one is a full volt below. If we go to that cell's neighbor, cell 94, you can see that one's at 4.02. So clearly we have a, a bad cell or a parasitic cell or, or something here that's dragging down the pack. Uh, so we'll have to get this apart. I think the only way I can get this module out is to pull out this whole module group. And the way they have this assembled, uh, both these two modules as well as the two modules over here have to come out. All right, well, as you can see, uh, we got the whole module stack out there. Let me grab this piece of wood out of here. This kind of bends in the middle if you don't have something to support it. So a two by four happens to fit perfect. So now what we got to do here is this module right here is the one we're after. And uh, so we got to take all of the bus bars off before we take uh, the plates here off. Uh, the modules are all under under pressure. Uh, they're all clamped together. So we want to take the bus bars off first. Otherwise, if you take the bolts out, everything all ends up all cattywampus. So we want to take all this off first. So let me get my tool here. So we've got some little clips here. Boom. And we've got some clips in the middle. It's a little bit of a pain, but it'll come off if you just give it a little tug. You want to be gentle, but not too gentle. And there you go. So now you can see all of our bus bar connections exposed there. So we're going to try not to touch any of the BMS wiring because we definitely don't want to mess that up. But let me get a Phillips uh, screwdriver for, for the middle terminals. Alrighty, well, it's the next day. Unfortunately, my camera died, and uh, I didn't quite film everything that I was trying to do on the modules here. Uh, but I went back and I checked what I did get, and I basically explained what I was going to do pretty well. Um, basically, we, we unbolted all the bus bars off of the, the front of the modules here so that we could get access to the module that we're having a problem with, which is this one right here. So if we take our multimeter here, you can see if we measure any two cells, or any single cells, 
we get about 4.02 volts. Except for that one right there, where we get just a little over 3 volts. So this is our bad module right here. So what we'll do is we'll pull this one out, and we're going to replace it with another one um, from a battery that had a, a similar amount of natural degradation in it. Uh, it was down to six bars, just like this car is. Um, so it should be within a, a single digit uh, percentage in terms of capacity in relation to the rest of the cells. Uh, so it should be a pretty good match. Uh, we do need to uh, condition that other module first uh, to get it ready to, to put in here because it's not charged up to the same voltage as all the other ones in here. So we'll, we'll uh, charge that one up with a, with a power supply and then we'll insert it in here, put everything back together, put this whole uh, stack of modules back into the battery, uh, reassemble it all and put it back in the car.